Hello and welcome to another OneFlow tutorial. Today I will show you the basic settings of a closed loop system. The difference between an open loop and a closed loop system is the feedback signal. This feedback signal is compared to the command value inside the electronic card and if there is a deviation between these two signals, the card will readjust until the feedback and the command value are identical. In our example application, we have a, a hydraulic cylinder controlled with a force three way proportional valve. You can use any force three way proportional valve and controlled with a ST7 controller card. With the command value, I can define a position and then the cylinder will move with a preset speed to this position. Through the position sensor, the electronic card gets the actual position of the cylinder. If the cylinder wants to move due to any change of temperature, pressure or load, the electronic card readjusts to keep the command position. The following settings are necessary to become this basic function. First of all, we have to set the type of regulation. Then we have to scale the command and feedback value. We have to set the speed for the movement. We have to adjust the solid outputs and we have to define how to release the card. The settings we make through the known PASO software, parameterizing software PASO. Here is the main screen. On the left side, you see the input signals, command and feedback value, then all internal signals where you can see at any time what happens on the device. On the output, the solenoid output, where you can see the current uh, to the connected hydraulic valve. If you like to change some parameters, you click here, then you can set the parameters to the value you really like. In this tutorial, we have a look only to the basic settings. That means every additional settings here, we will explain you in detail with other tutorials. Now, first of all, we have to switch on the controller. For that, we open the controller with the parameter controller mode. On one side, I can switch on the controller, but I define also the type of controller. For our application, it's a position closed loop with two solenoids. The displayed unit is millimeter. If everything is OK, I click here to OK. Now, because I switch on the, the controller, some parameters must be initialized. And I say, yes, please do that. And now you see also the feedback value is released and can be adjusted. Next step is to set the scaling for the command and the feedback value. We start with the feedback value. In our application, the feedback value is a, a current signal connected to analog input 2. If the cylinder is in the inside position, the sensor uh, gives a signal from 0.0, .0 milliamps. If the cylinder is in the outside position, the signal from the sensor is 19.74 milliamps. The stroke of my cylinder is 0 millimeter up to 750 millimeter. That's the whole stroke of my cylinder. If everything is good, I say OK. Now he must calculate or recalculate some scaling factors. I say yes. Now you see. If cylinder is outside, I have my maximum signal. If my cylinder is inside, I have my minimum signal. I make the command scaling. On this demo application, the command value is a potentiometer, a voltage signal connected to analog input one. The range is zero up to 9.922 volt. Now I will not work with the whole range. 
I will only work between 20 millimeters and 730 millimeters. I will never move to the end positions. Because of that, my minimum reference is 20 millimeters and my maximum reference is 730 millimeters. Also here, okay, he has to recalculate some factors. Now you see here with a command value from zero, I have 20 millimeters. With a command value from 10 volt, I have 730 millimeters. Next step is to adjust the speed. The speed must be calculated due to the um, cylinder diameter, to the pressure, to the flow I have. That means the speed is defined by the hydraulic components I have on the system. On our demo application, I have a speed from 100 mm per second and the acceleration from 200 and also a deceleration from 200 mm per second square. The value positive are for moving out the cylinder, the values negative are for moving in the cylinder. Then we set the parameters for the solenoid driver. Solenoid driver 1 is for moving out the cylinder. On our application, this is solenoid A. Minimum and maximum current, I have to look in the data sheet from the used uh, valve. On our application, it's 100 milliamps for the minimum and 900 milliamps for the maximum. Then I set the same for solenoid driver 2, which is used for moving in. It's solenoid B, and I take here the same values as before. This can be different values, but for my application, it's the same value as on solenoid driver 1. Last thing is to say how I will release the card. I have on my demo application, I have a, a switch which is connected to digital input 1. Because of that, I say here external and digital input 1, and that's all. Now, if I activate digital input 1, my card is released and the controller is switched on. If I give now a new uh, command value, for example, 420 millimeter, the command value will move with the adjusted speed to this um, value. At the first moment, I have a big control deviation. Because of that, I have a big current. That means solenoid A is activated and the cylinder will move out. If cylinder moves out, also the feedback value becomes a higher value. If the feedback value has reached the command position, then I have uh, a lower control deviation and I have also a lower current. You see, with this parser software, it's really easy because you can see at any time the values on the device without external equipment. You see what happens on the system. You can set the parameters very easily. easily. Um, with some steps, you can adjust the whole system. If you have more questions, please contact us or have a look to the other tutorials on this channel. Thank you for looking and see you.